So we are continuing topic 2.10, finding the derivatives of trig functions. Um, and we are going to look at example one. So we're, we're going to find the derivative of each, and some of these um, are super straightforward and simple. So like this one, uh, we have y equals x minus tangent of x. So y prime equals the derivative of x we know is 1. And the derivative tangent we just learned up here is secant squared x. So I'm just going to write down minus secant squared x. Um, now, that is entirely possible that that's the answer. However, sometimes they do apply a trig identity. So we know that our one of our trig identities is 1 plus tangent squared equals secant squared. Um, so I could manipulate that a little bit, move the one to the other side. Um, so that means that the tangent squared equals secant squared minus one, which isn't quite what we have. If I manipulated that a little bit and took a negative out. So tangent squared equals negative one times secant squared plus one. Um, I'm sorry, negative secant squared plus one. If I moved that negative to the other side, that would be negative tangent squared equals, and then I'm going to rearrange the order 1 minus secant squared. So now I have this is exactly equal to that, so I know I can substitute in a negative tangent. This might not happen, but this is a just in case. So negative tangent squared x could be substituted in and be the final answer. In B, you'll notice I have y equals x times secant x. So we're applying one of our new rules, which is the product rule. So I'm going to underline my red and my green. And um, we've got y prime equals, I take the derivative of my red, which would be 1. Keep my green the way it is. It's always an addition with product rule. I'm going to keep the red the way it is and take the derivative of secant. The derivative of secant, if I go back up here and look, is secant x times tangent x. So secant, oh, not the right color, secant x tangent x. Um, and then on something like this, the College Board loves to um, do some factoring. So if you'll notice, I've got the blue group, I've got the yellow group, and we want to know what matches in those groups. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit so that I can take out a greatest common factor. So it looks like secant is in both of those. So I'm going to take out a secant x. And then if I look at what's left behind in the blue group, I have a 1 left behind. And then in the yellow group, um, I have an x tangent x left behind. And so the answer, if it's multiple choice, it's most likely to look like this second answer. All right, let's look at C. So in C, I know that I have cosine x time, so I'm cosecant x, so that's a time, so we're using a product rule again. So I'm going to underline my red and underline my green. We've got f prime of x equals the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x, and then I keep my green the way it is, cosecant x, and it's always a plus sign. And then I'm going to take the keep the red the way it is, so cosine x. I'm going to take the derivative of my green. We haven't used this one yet, so I'm going to go to my table and I'm going to look. So my derivative of my green is negative cosecant x cotangent x. So negative cosecant x cotangent x. And then I am going to look and see if there's anything I could take a greatest common factor out with. Again, I might not have to do this, but I'm just checking to see if this if this works and I can simplify it a little bit more. So it looks like I've got a cosecant in there. So I'm gonna actually I got a negative and a cosecant in there. So I'm gonna plot the whole negative cosecant x and see what's left behind. I'm gonna actually do that in a different color here. Let's use blue. So I'm pulling out negative cosecant x. And then in the light blue group, I have a sine x left. In the yellow group, um, let's see, I have a cosine x, cotangent x left. I don't know that there's any trig identity that would really help us simplify that anymore, so we're just going to leave it that way. 